So you're a Cancun first timer, maybe you're even a little nervous. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you everything you need to know before going there, including a little bit of a weird and shocking one at the end. And if you're new to our channel, Three Days and Trace Noches is not a travel vlog or a travel agency. We just bring you honest, to the point reviews and tips about the travel destinations that we go to and show you, you don't need an entire week to have an amazing vacation. The first thing I wanna say is that I think in my opinion, Cancun is a great destination for first-time travelers going out of the country. Now, one of the main reasons why I think this, and some people will not agree, is that Cancun makes it very easy or as easy as possible to get in and out of their country with very little hassle. And so if you are traveling internationally for the first time, just the stress of traveling and the customs and the immigration and all of the things that are involved in the traveling process can be really overwhelming. So I personally think that Cancun does a great job with this and this is a great first international destination. So the first thing I think you should know is not to believe all of the media hype and the travel advisories about the dangers in Cancun. Now I do a lot of videos about Cancun and in particular the safety in Cancun. So I will make sure to list those in the description. I don't wanna to get too much into it in this video, but I've been there 15 times and have always felt very safe. There are risks everywhere that you go anytime that you travel. And in this video, you're gonna learn some things also to do to mitigate those risks. Which leads me to number two, to help mitigate some of these safety concerns is to stay at an all-inclusive resort. Now for you younger travelers, the more adventurous travelers, I know you wanna get that Airbnb, you wanna rent the car, you wanna experience the country and the cultures and Mexico has so much to offer in that. So I'm not saying don't do that. I come from the side of a cautious traveler. I guess that's the mom in me coming out. And my recommendation is always just to go to the all-inclusive resort first. And then from there, you can experience the country very safely, which I'm also gonna talk about in just a little bit. Which leads me to number three about the all-inclusive resort. So if you do choose to go this way, be cautious of that 4.5 rating that you see on TripAdvisor. Because even though it says 4.5, doesn't always mean it's going to be a great experience. And we've actually learned that the hard way. Um, so you really need to do a little bit more research, like watching the YouTube videos, diving into those reviews, asking for referrals, maybe working with a travel agent, and also more importantly, knowing what's important to you. And again, I know I keep referencing all of the other videos that I've done, but I do a whole video about how to find the perfect all-inclusive resort for you. And all of these will be listed below. Which leads me to number four about the all-inclusive resort. Um, because you're probably gonna be very excited, especially if it's your first time, that it's unlimited food and drinks. However, often many people overindulge and they get very, very sick on vacation. So just be cautious of that. You know, of course you wanna have fun and you're gonna eat a little too much and of course you're gonna drink a little too much. But I can't tell you how many times I've seen people get so drunk on vacation, it ruins it or they eat so much and then they get sick. So number five, another place that people overindulge is with the sun. Especially if you're coming from a cold climate, you know, you just wanna feel that sun. And even when you put sunblock on, you can still get really, really bad sunburn, especially if you're gonna take some type of boat trip. So I would suggest bringing an SPF hoodie or shirt, something along those lines. Obviously a ton of sunscreen. And even when you're drinking, you can get even worse sunburn. So just know that going into, because the last thing that you want is a horrible sunburn, which can also ruin your vacation. Number six is about the beaches. And just because you're going to the Caribbean, many people just assume that you are going to have a beautiful beach wherever you go. Well, that is not the case in the Cancun area. And I was surprised to learn that as well. In fact, some resorts have beaches that are unswimmable, like the Grand at Moon Palace. And other resorts, you know, get seasonal seagrass, sargassum, that also make the beach unswimmable, and sometimes you can't even sit on the beach. So if a good beach experience is a priority to you when you are on vacation, then you definitely wanna do some extra research to make sure 
that your resort has a great beach. Now, during the summer, most of the resorts in the Cancun area have some type of seagrass, and it's getting worse year after year for a lot of different reasons. The best time of year to travel in, um, to Cancun would be January through March. But even then, sometimes the resorts just do not have good beaches. Number seven is about that Cancun airport. And I do several videos actually on this. So there is a lot more in those videos that you need to know. But I would say the most important one is you do need a passport to get into Mexico. And the passports are taking longer right now in the US. So make sure you plan but I would say six to eight months minimum for your passport to come in. And the biggest thing is make sure you arrange transportation ahead of time from the Cancun airport to your resort. So do not plan on getting a taxi when you arrive. Again, watch all of my other videos for why, because you want to make sure that you do not get scammed. Number eight kind of goes along with the airport is do not overpack. Now I know you're excited. It's your first time in Cancun. Maybe your first time in an all-inclusive resort. So you want a bunch of different outfits and shoes and bags and jewelry and all of these different things. And I get it. But sometimes you have to wait over an hour to get your bag at the airport. And even further, when you are departing, sometimes there's cancellations and then you have to go find your bags and it's just a huge hassle. And of course I do a full video about how to pack a carry-on. I know I keep referencing my videos, so I'm sorry, but I'm trying to keep this video short and then you can find all of the other details that you want in my other videos. Just a few more left. Number nine is know the area of Cancun that you're going to, because the Cancun airport services many different areas, some that are few hours away. So for instance, if you're going to Tulum, you have to plan on two hours one way from the airport to your resort. Um, but there's also Riviera Maya, Playa de Carmen, Hotel Zone, lots of different areas. So you want to be able to factor in how long it's going to take you to get from the airport to your resort into your travel schedule. Number 10 is a question I get a lot on the channels. Do you need to know Spanish to get by in Cancun? And you really do not. A lot of people know English which is great. Now, I always tell people it's a great idea to learn the basics, hola, adios, gracias, buenos dias, things like that. But you really can get by on just English alone. Another question we get, number 11, is do you have to convert your dollars into pesos? So the US dollar and the Canadian dollar are very strong and accepted everywhere. We did have a few comments that say that the, it's harder for the employees when you tip them in US or Canadian dollars and because then they have to convert it back to pesos. However, we've always just tipped with US dollars until this last time we tried to do pesos and it was just a lot more confusing. And the worker said it really is not that big a deal for them to convert it. So I personally would not. I've gone there 15 times. I always just use the US dollar. If you want to, you certainly can. The airport definitely has higher exchange rates than some of the surrounding banks, but it's just one more stop you have to take, one more thing you have to do when the US dollar is really taken everywhere. Number 12, almost done, and it's all about going off the resort and is it safe to do so? So I referenced this in the beginning of the video and I definitely recommend taking some type of excursion or guided tour if it is your first time going to Cancun. Because I know there's so many safety concerns and the media hype. In fact, your mom's probably freaking out that you're going to Mexico or your family, your relatives are trying to convince you that it is dangerous. So this is a great way to experience the amazing culture, the amazing sights that Mexico has to offer, but in a group setting or in a guided setting so that you feel safe doing it. And just some final thoughts on scams. So every major tourist city is going to have some type of scams involved. I talked about the one at the airport with the taxis, that's one. And there's lots of videos on this. Right now you're doing a great job. This means that you're doing research so you're already kind of on top of it. Another one that I would say to be wary of is if you do go off the resort to one of the restaurants, do not use a debit card. So always travel with a credit card because if you're using your debit card and someone steals it, that's your bank. So number one, always travel with their credit card, but make sure you check that bill really closely because sometimes they do put in some added fees and if you're on top of your game, you can kind of question and that happened to us and they did take off some charges that they um, mistakenly kind of put on. But also know the exchange rate from the pesos 
to the US dollars as well in case they try to charge you in pesos. And then you can kind of see if it is comparable. And you always want to use the same safety precautions that you would use here in your hometown um, or wherever that you live. But the one thing I know this is like the mom coming out of me now is about drinking because anytime you see a tourist related death or accident, there's usually large amounts of alcohol and drugs related. I know we're seeing a lot of that right now in the spring break news. And I know it's so tempting because, you know, you're at an all inclusive, you're on vacation, you're having fun. And, you know, I have certainly overindulged on vacation as well. But when you start getting out of control and you don't remember, that's when tourists are taken advantage of. So if you're going to go to Coco Bongo or maybe to Playa del Carmen, wherever it is, you're going to be, you know, taking a taxi, then just use extra precaution. Don't get out of control so that you are not taken advantage of or scammed in any way. Wait, I almost forgot about the weird and kind of shocking one, and that is Cancun has a little bit of a swinger scene at some of the resorts. So some resorts actually even cater to this. And, but even at some of the other resorts, I was surprised when couples were hitting on me. So again, no judgment, but it's just something that I'm personally not into. And if you're not, I figured I would mention it because then you know going ahead um, into it, it's easy to avoid, kind of easy to pick up on. It's not like a huge deal, but I figured it was worth mentioning. And if you're watching this and you have been to Cancun and you have any other tips for these first timers, please drop them in the comments below. I love starting that conversation. Or maybe you've watched another video that gave a great tip. Let's put that in the comments below, tag that creator. And we just want to make sure that you have the best vacation possible. These are things that I wish I knew when I was going to Cancun for the first time. And we hope you liked this video. If you did, the best show of appreciation is liking and subscribing to our channel and to keep following us at Three Days and Trace Noches while we keep bringing you that honest, to the point, information, reviews, and tips about the travel destinations that we go to.